हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लेट्स ट्यूट इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल देन डू सब्सक्राइब एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू नेवर मिस एन अपडेट फ्रॉम अस आल्सो वी हैव लॉट ऑफ कोर्सेज ऑन साइंस ऑन आवर वेबसाइट दैट इज www.letstu.com सो डू चेक देम लेट्स ट्राइ टू रीकैप एवरीथिंग वी हैव लर्न टिल नाउ एटम्स आर द स्मॉलेस्ट इनडिविजिबल पार्टिकल Atoms are the building block of matter. Different elements combine together to form new compounds. The reactant and product, their masses are equal. So it was stated that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction. But in this reaction, the elements combine in constant proportion. That is, in a chemical substance. the elements are combined in definite proportion by mass but i just stated all the laws random this should be a standard theory which everyone should follow yeah so to the rescue there was a british chemist john dalton who provided the basic theory of nature of matter of course now who is john dalton john dalton was born in a poor weaver family in 1766 in england in 1808 he provided his the atomic theory which was a turning point for the study of matter john dalton was very smart he just took everything which was already stated of course he proved them and made his own theory named as dalton's atomic theory the first thing he did was he took the name atom from greeks and said the smallest particle of matters are atoms so if it's matter then its smallest particle is atom if it's elements then its smallest particle are atoms and if it's compound then its smallest particles are atoms so everything is composed of atoms suppose in this chemical reaction element a plus element b is equals to element c so element a is also made up of smallest particles atom element b is also made up of smallest particle atoms and compound c is also made up of smallest particle atoms stating the first point of his theory that matters are made up of very tiny particles called atoms let's take the chemical reaction again everything on the reactant side is used to make the products atoms are not created nor destroyed stating the second point of atomic theory that atoms are indivisible which cannot be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction suppose if we took two atoms of hydrogen if you look closely they have equal size and also if we weigh them they'll have same mass and also their chemical property is same but now if we take one atom of oxygen and the other atom of hydrogen and if we look closely they have different size and if we weigh them they have different mass and they'll have different chemical properties stating the third and the fourth law of atomic theory that atom of same element has same mass and chemical property atom of different elements have different mass and different chemical property we know that atoms cannot be divided further in compound c we can't have 0.5 atom of element a and 2.5 atom of element b it will have whole numbers same in water molecule it will have two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom it can't have half atoms so stating the fifth very important law of atomic theory that atom combine in the ratio of small whole numbers to form compounds if we take water molecule and we try to look carefully we know that it will have two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom so that makes one unit now if we take this one unit and try to scan the whole water compound will notice that it has the same combination of hydrogen and oxygen 
in the ratio of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So stating the sixth law that the relative number and the kind of atoms in the given compound are constant. So to conclude the video, we learned about very important Dalton's atomic theory. These are some key points of each statement. Atoms are very tiny. They are indivisible. They can't be created nor be destroyed. Same elements have same mass and chemical property. Different elements have different mass and chemical property. Atom combine in ratio of whole number. Relative number and kind of atoms are constant in compound. That's it for this video. If you want more such videos then do subscribe to Let's Tune and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you.